My name is Dr. Michio Kaku. I'm a professor of theoretical physics here at the City University of New York. I'm the co-founder of String Field Theory, one of the main branches of string theory. And professionally, I work on trying to unify all the laws of physics into a single equation, into a single framework, to complete Einstein's dream of a theory of everything. However, I'm also interested in the mind. I've been fascinated with the nature of consciousness, and that's why I decided to write the book, The Future of the Mind. I'm a physicist. We like to analyze things, take things apart, quantify them, measure things. The brain is the most complex object that we know of in the solar system, perhaps even in our sector of the Milky Way galaxy. One of the big breakthroughs in terms of understanding the universe was the telescope. With the invention of the telescope, we can now get rid of all the mythology and mysticism and see stars, galaxies, and, and we can see what's out there. With the mind, it was the MRI machine and all the avalanche of high-tech instruments that have allowed us to probe the nature of thought itself. In Los Angeles, scientists trained rats to perform a certain task. They tape recorded the impulses in the hippocampus of the mind, of their brain, and then replayed these thoughts back into their brain. And sure enough, they recall the task that they had learned. This is amazing. This is the first time in world history that scientists have been able to record a thought, a memory of something, play it back, and the mouse relearned the task. In the future, we will have the ability to have a motion picture of your thoughts, and in fact, a motion picture of your dreams. At the University of California at Berkeley, I went to the laboratory there, where they have an MRI machine that takes all your thoughts, breaks it up into 30,000 dots. Then there's a computer program that interprets these 30,000 dots and creates an image of what you're looking at. The image is rather crude, but the very fact that we can do it is incredible. Perhaps there are billions and billions of universes out there with different laws of physics, but ours is special because we are here to talk about it. In these other universes, there are no humans. There's no one there to talk about it. Our universe is special. We have life, we have consciousness, and that's why consciousness in some sense is the most precious commodity in the multiverse of universes. Mm -hmm.